If there's one thing I've learned from listening to these 911 calls, it's that you can't always trust them to save you. This next call is incredibly disturbing and frustrating to listen to. Alan, when we're here, we're emergency. I'm in an emergency, a severe emergency. I'm in a flooding. My car is veered off the road while I'm doing my newspapers, and I'm flooded over here on the end of King Cade, and it's all the way up to my windows, and I can't get out, and I'm scared to death, ma'am. Hey, Can you please help me really bad? I need you to calm down. I need you to tell me where you are. I'm on the, I don't know, ma'am. I'm on the end of King Cade down here by these apartments. There's some apartments on King Cade. I don't know what they're called. What color is your vehicle? Avenue. On the other side of Ken K, at the very end of Ken K Street, there's some apartments. And I right. thought, do you I have a dark blue car? Is what I'm asking you. What color is your vehicle? Yeah, dark. It's it's gray SUV. Laying the window, the mortar's all the way up to my windows. Okay, hold on for me. Don't hang up. And it's coming in my windows. I mean, I'm floating in water right now, ma'am, ma'am. And you're at close to the area, 5801 Ken K. Yes, ma'am. I need help right now. I'm, 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 I'm soaking wet. I'm sick, and I can't. I don't know what to do, ma'am. Okay, what's your name? Debbie Stevens. Please help me. I don't want to die. You're not gonna die. Hold on for a minute. Well, I need. To, I, I'm scared. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't know the water. I couldn't see the water when I came up on it, man. It just all of a sudden hit me. And you're in a gray van. I'm in a gray SUV, a Mazda CX-9. Are you are a paper person? Yes, I'm a paper person. Please send somebody fast to get me. I'm scared. Okay, listen to me. I can't just calm clean. Down I can't me. clean. I'm going to drown. You're not going to drown. Just calm down. Well, ma'am, it's all the way up to my chest. Okay, Please listen to me. Hurry. I understand. Hold on for me. Just I'm hang scared. Up I'm sorry. I'm... It's fine to be scared. You have a right to be scared. I'm Hold scared. On <laughs> <laughs> Do you, did you go off the road into a ditch? No, ma'am. I was in the in the parking lot of the, of the apartments cutting through to go to my paper route because I couldn't go down 66th Street because it was flooded. And when I got to the end, I didn't see I couldn't see the water in that driveway, and there was water everywhere. And it just it just took me away and started pulling me, just uh, sucking me in, and then my car then my car died. How long is it going to be, ma'am? My phone's going to die, and I can't charge it. It's going to get wet. It's all the way up. It's all the way up to my neck almost. Okay, hold on for me. Hello? I'm listening to you, so I said hold on for me. Oh, God, please help me. Oh, please help me. I don't want to die. Miss Debbie, I need you to calm down and hold on, okay? Oh, I'm scared, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm scared. I need the cops to come get me. <clears throat> I need somebody to help me. I'm scared. Are you the only one in the vehicle? You mean I'm the only one in the vehicle with all my papers floating around me? Okay, listen to me. Make sure yes, you're in the area of 5801 Kincaid. I don't know what 5801 Kincaid is. I don't know. I just know there's two sets of apartments no, over there. That. She's not sure. Listen to me. I you're, listen to me. If you're doing the paper, yes. you got to know at least a little bit of where you are. I can do this paper route over here, ma'am. I was cutting through to go to my paper route because I couldn't get down 60 so Tell me what you see then. What do you see? There's some apartments because all I see is some apartments. I don't know the names of any of these apartments over here. The apartment, what does the apartment complex look like? I, I can't see them, but, ma'am. There's two sets of apartment complexes, one on the right and one on the left. And I'm in the back side of them back here in a bunch of grass. Looks like a bunch of trees. Okay. I'm going to send somebody out there to you, okay? What? This already getting up to me. I'm scared. How long is it going to take? I don't have an officer available, so it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to try to get somebody out there to you. Just hold on, okay? Damn, I'm going to die. It's all the way up to my windows. I'm going to die. You're not going to die. I can't die. die. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to go and tell my mommy bye because I don't want to die. Ma'am, it's all the way up to me. Ma'am, ma'am. Listen to me, Miss Debbie. Just stay on the phone with me. I'm going to get somebody out there to you. Just hold on. I don't need to die. I'm going to die, ma'am, because it's going to run my phone because my phone's going to get wet. Hold on for me. I'm going to get out and swim. If I could, I would. But I don't know how to swim, baby. I'm scared. And there's people over there watching me, and they're probably laughing, and they're over there looking at me. People are looking at you, and they're not going to help you? 
two sets of cars over there, and they're just all looking at me like I'm stupid. I couldn't help it. I love it. They just started pulling me down the road. Okay, hold on for me. I got my lights on in my car. That's the only thing you can see. I'm not, I just need help. It's getting, it's getting bad. It's all going to pass my steering wheel. I'm going to crash. Please help me. Please help me. How long is it going to be? Please, listen please. Listen to me. Listen to me. I need you to calm down and hold on. Okay? I'm just scared, man. I'm I understand sorry. that you're scared, but there's nothing I can do sitting in a chair, so you're going to have to hold on, and I'm going to send you somebody, okay? Okay. Hello? Hold on. I'm still here. Hold on. Ma'am, please hurry. Listen, listen to me. I understand. Hold on for me. Ma'am, they're going to let me die. I'm not, not going to let you die. Oh, ma'am, I don't want to die. I'm sorry, but I don't want to die today. You're not going to die. My SUV, my SUV is wounded. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody help me. <laughs> <laughs> My brand SUV is <laughs> Hold on for me, ma'am. I'm holding on, ma'am. It's all I can do. I'm scared. Because it's getting higher and higher, and my phone's going to die, and y'all ain't going to find me. I'm going to get sucked away. Okay, just hold on for me. And I can't swim. <laughs> I can't swim at all. I oh, oh. <laughs> Ten four. It's gonna be in the area of fifty eight oh one Kincaid Avenue. I'm on the female I'm on the phone with the female. She's stuck in a van. She's on a paper route. I'm in an SUV and she's got water up to her chest. What color no, is like it? Oh please help me. Ladder one, be advised, it'll be a great SUV. And I've got my lights, I've got my lights on inside. You can see me. Ma'am, I hear you. Did you, you tell him I got my lights on inside where they can see me? Yeah. Can you tell me how long it's gonna be, ma'am? <laughs> it's getting higher, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, I understand that you're scared. You're uh, but I don't know what else to say. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. I'm 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 going Nobody's saving me. <laughs> Am I not on the phone with you trying to get you some help? Yeah, okay, but so somebody give me help before I die. Hey, I'm sorry. You're not going to die. Scared. I don't know why you're freaking out. It's okay. I know the water level is I'm high. Scared. I understand that. But you're freaking out doing yeah. nothing but losing your oxygen up in there. So just calm down. But are they not going to come and get me? You said what? I'm sorry. When are they going to be here? As soon as they get there. Well, how long is that going to be before I die? Yeah, I know. Man, my phone's going to die. I'm not going to find me. It's going to find my brand new phone. Do you, do you really care about your brand new phone? I mean, you're over there crying for your life. Who cares about your phone? Come on, I need to get down. I need to throw up. I need to throw up right now. Well, then uh, you're in water. You can throw up. It's not going to matter. If you got throw up on yourself, they'll still help you. No, my car is going to catch on fire. How if it's underwater? It's turned on. I can't turn it off. Your car's not going to catch fire in water. Oh. It's making an awful funny noise and smoking. Oh, my God, ma'am. It's all the way up past my door. <laughs> uh. Just stay on the phone with me. I'm going to get somebody there to you. They should be there. Because I'm sending the fire out to you to help you out. <laughs> can I put you in a hole? Can I? I need to call my mother in law so she knows I'm okay. Okay, well, you're not okay, so you can call your mother in law when you're actually out of the vehicle. So, no, you cannot call her right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you pray? Will you pray with me? 
in her vehicle. Hello? I'm here. I can still hear everything you're saying to me. I have, Will like, you pray with me, please? You go ahead and start off the prayer, and I'll listen to you. I sure will. Dear Lord, please just help me. Get me out of the water safely, dear Father. One of us has to have the new peace, Father. Just be with me and protect me and help me, dear Father, please. Dear Father, help me. My vehicle is ruined. Yeah, but it's better that your vehicle is ruined than you being swept away and nobody knows where you are. So just stand there. I'm going to be okay. swept away because my, my mom is No, needs you're not. Me. You're, you have nowhere to be swept away to besides the street that you're on, so just calm down, okay? Well, I'm at the end of a street, but man... Right, it's no, I, I'm, looking, I'm looking at it right now, and at the end of the street is some bushes, so you'll be just fine. Ma'am, it's getting all the way up to my chest, and I'm getting... I know the water's the up chest. to your chest. Just stay on the phone with me, and I have an officer I have an officer and the fire department coming out to you, so just hold on, okay? Oh, thank you. I'm sorry if I'm rude, but I'm scared. You're not rude. I know you're scared. Just calm down for me. I'm scared. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. Well, this, will, te this will teach you next time don't drive in the water. I couldn't see it, ma'am. I'm sorry, or I wouldn't have. I don't see how you didn't see it. You had to go right over it, so. No, ma'am. I was in a drive. I was in a parking lot. There was no water where I was at. Okay. And when I got to the end of the parking lot, I was looking for the road to get out into the main road. When I got to the main road, it was too late. There was water, and I didn't, I couldn't see it fast right. enough. The water just didn't appear. I didn't see it fast enough. My headlight went out, and I couldn't see it. Okay. It's okay. We'll get you help and get you out of there. Just hold on, okay? Okay, ma'am. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <sighs> and you're not the only one that's been stuck in the water. We've had some 80-year-old kids. I understand, ma'am. This so is calm down. scary. It's scary. Because I can't swim. <laughs> I think, I even though you can't swim, I think you can still stand up in this. How tall are you? Taller and it's higher than me. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm only five foot tall. Okay, well, you're not three foot, so you'll be just fine. Okay. Well, the cops take me to my right. house. I don't live very far. Right now, so right Ma'am. Ten four. They're pulling somebody else out the water, and as soon as they do, they'll come to you, so just stay right there, okay? I'm not going nowhere, ma'am. I can't go nowhere. I'm just praying. Will they take me home to my house, ma'am? 10-4. Ma'am. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting even higher. Okay, just stay on the phone with me. I know that you're scared, that's why I'm not hanging up with you, okay? So just stay on the phone with me. Up. Will they take me back to my house, please? I don't know what they'll do. If not, I can walk to my house. I don't want to. I live on Newport Lane. I got animals in my house. I got to get home, too, and I got to go get my some more papers so somebody can take me to throw them. Uh, they're not going to take you and do all that. They'll take you and drop you off. The they have other take people me to home. rescue you as well. So you'll no, just have that's to... not what I said. They need to take you. They take me home, and my mother-in-law is a going to come get me to throw the rest of my papers. I don't know if they'll, if they'll take you home. They're just going to take you to a dry spot. I don't know what they're going to do. When they get there, you'll, you have to oh, ask them because I have no idea. They're to come get me. I'll call my mother in law to come get me. So you're going to have her drive out in this? No, she's out doing papers right now and she's okay. a district manager for the Southwest Times Record. She's already out throwing around. I called her before I called y'all and she was out throwing around. She's out in this, yes. You know how much longer it's going to be, ma'am? As soon as they get there, I cannot give you a time. <laughs> oh, my God. What time is it now, ma'am? <laughs> Those people are standing up on their balcony watching me sitting in this water. That's pretty rude. 
a lot of people have called in on you, so I don't think that nobody's just sitting there. They actually know. called in, and they're not going to get their self in danger because you put yourself in danger. I understand that, ma'am. I understand that. I'm just scared. I know you're scared. And the water's creeping up, and in a minute I won't be able to talk to you when my phone goes crazy. It'll be there before that happens, so calm down. Oh, you. I'm sorry, ma'am. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Donna. Donna, thank you for being here for me, Miss Donna. You're welcome. I'm just scared, and I don't know what to do. I can tell you, when it rains again, I ain't never doing this. That sounds like a good idea. Because, you know, Fort Smith, and I've done papers for 20 like for I've done papers for 21 years, and I've never had it like this. Yeah, I think that's understandable, though. Hold on for me, okay? Fort Smith, yeah. please, this is Donna. How can I help you? <laughs> for which address? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Somebody put out a call for Barling for Highway 58 and 8. Okay, then I can cancel it. They got the number. Barling got the number. Thank you. Oh my God, ma'am. Yes. It's done. My phone's gonna die. No, it's not. Just hold on for me. Ma'am, I can't. I got to get all the way up to my neck. You can hold on. Just hold on. Oh, don't no, no, worry. I gotta pee so bad. Yeah, I'm on the phone with the female now. She's freaking out. And she says the water is hurting. Oh, I'm getting out. 58.01kk on the back side is all I got. <laughs> Do you see the officer, ma'am? No, I don't see nobody, ma'am. 10-4, it's going to be a great no SUV. I got my lights on, but I don't see nobody. Do you hear the fire trucks? I'm rushing water, ma'am. I can't hear nothing. Okay, well, don't cry, and then don't talk, and then let me know if you hear the fire department. The what? The fire trucks. Tell me if you hear the fire trucks. Hell, ma'am, all I can hear is rushing water. I see flashing headlights over there, but I think that's somebody's car. I hope they're not broke down. Too. Literally, 5801 Kincaid is what she said. No, she doesn't see her, and I don't hear the the, uh, the apparatus either. Are you are you close to Oak Brook Apartments, ma'am? You, I'm over here by these two sets of apartments. Yes, ma'am. At the end of the street, at the very end of the street, that yes, little circle, or whatever it is. Street in between those two apartments. Yes. Right behind those, okay, right behind hold on, listen to me, I can't right hear you on the left-hand side, Okay, hold on for me, hold on. Sorry, ma'am, sorry. Ma'am, it's just getting hold on, my phone's gonna die. Ma'am. Hold on for me. Do you see the fire department? No, ma'am. Pumper uh, 7. Do you see her vehicle? My lights are on inside, if you can see my lights. My interior lights are on. Are you on the park side? Are you in the parking lot side? Are you on the road? And you go down, the, what, you go down that street that runs in between those two apartments right there, and I'm on, the, and, and the street goes to the end, and my car veered off to the left, and I'm behind these last set of apartments on the left-hand side. I'm behind them. I guess it's a circle down there. I don't know. I've never driven down on this part. I don't know, ma'am. She said she's in, in between both apartment complexes on this street at the dead end. In the, back, in the very back side, there's a bunch of trees. <laughs> right there. The she showed 5801 at the end. The back side of these apartments over here where these people are at, they can all she see me. They're all standing out there watching me. Miss Debbie, you're going to have to shut up, okay? I need oh, you to listen, listen to me. Yes, ma'am. Can, can you start your, can you start your, um, is your car still on there? Like, can you honk no. your horn? My horn is dead. Okay, hold on for My me. My horn is dead. Okay, hold on for me. Everything is dead. Listen to me, hold on. Who, fire? Are they really? 
Can I pay even higher? It's all the way past my doors. Hold on for me. Don't hang up. Ma'am, please. My Hold God, on please for me. me. Hold on. Ladder two. Oh, my God. And it's getting higher and higher and it's getting... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Number seven is needing you in the area, 5801 Kincaid Avenue. <laughs> oh lord, help no, me. They're trying to come to you. The whole parking lot is flooded. They're trying to find you, okay? So hold on for me. Oh, and I'm at the very back of the, I'm at the very back of the end of that road on 58th Street. That's what street that is. I didn't know, ma'am. Oh my God, my car's starting to move. Oh ma'am, my car's starting to move, please. Okay, listen to me. I know, I'm I'm trying to get you as help as I can, okay? Just hold on for me. Okay, ma'am, please. I'm I know you're die, scared. Please. I know. Hold on for me, because I've got to take other calls plus you and listen okay, to all these guys. So okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. 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 <laughs> dear Lord, please just get me out. Dear Lord, please help them find me. Dear Lord, please. Dear Lord, please. Station one. Number seven is wanting you to go ahead and clip up the boat and get it ready if they should need you. Okay, I, I know. Listen to me. They are in the area. They are trying to find you. They cannot find you right now. I'm trying to ping where you are, so do not hang up because this 911 call is helping me ping your location. So don't don't hang up on me. Okay, where are you moving to? Tell me where it's going. Okay, tell me where you are. Listen to me, hold on. I'm on the phone with her right now. She is legit freaking out. She said the vehicle is now moving in the water and she doesn't know which way it's going, so stand by. I can't believe the lack of compassion showed to this lady in her final moments. The caller's name was Deborah Stevens. The flash flood carried her car away, and she sadly lost her life. Donna Renu was the person who took the call. It was her final shift working for the police department. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.